Right folks, a small video. This is Roe Barrow and Dolbury Warren Hill Fort. Up the top there. I'm not going up the main track. I'm going to walk around the edge like I normally do. It's easier. There's probably cows in the trees there. Lots of cows out. I've seen cows in other fields now frolicking and playing. Anyway, today was an experiment. I came on a different bus. Instead of the 126 getting off at Sanford or Winscombe or Cheddar, I got off at the Nelson's Arms Churchill by Skinner's Lane. It would put me on track about the same time as if I got the 126 and then, but it saved me a bit of hiking. From that point, if you didn't save me any time whatsoever, because I noticed that that bus of 51 goes around all the brand new estates over at Locking. Weaves in and out of all the estates, Hay, Haywood, the Haywood estate and the Locking estates. So you've just got to be patient when it's weaving about and then it joins up again. But uh, it was worth a try and it's always an alternative bus if necessary on the way back or if you, if, if you come from Winscombe that is. Go through Winscombe as an alternative. Anyway this is the Iron Age Hill Fort which I've talked about many 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 times everyone. I've walked here many times and I've loved every single time I've been here. I've explored a lot all around that way. Not so much there. I know there's other routes, which one day I might do. But I do know further up, there's often cows in fields over there. So, you can hear cows mooing. That could be a saw. But all the cows, this is now the season of the cow and they come here. Um, I've never had any problems with them. I don't get too close if I can help it. I'm using the Kodak. Um, I've got to practice with it. It's not for moving. It's a still camera. So I have to be guilty of that, not the camera. My daughter's got a tripod she's going to let me borrow. For, so I can start doing still videos and photos with it. Like it's supposed to be used. What it is, I'm just waiting for the chance to get the the so compact Sony I really want. I've got my old Sony in my bag. But I'm giving this one some chances. There's some blue sky today. And this camera excels with blue sky. But my skills what is what limits it. Not the camera. Me. Everything's safe for posterity though, everyone. Now I've brought a, a jacket, not a heavy winter coat, not a very light windshield or rain shield. I've brought a medium sized one because the weather is weird. It can change and be quite nippy when you're waiting later for the bus. It's a bit worrying some of these clouds, what they said, we had a bit of rain before I come out and uh, they said there is sort of thunder, could be thunder about, but uh, but not not really. Now over right over there we've got Crooks Peak, which I've got to do that walk very soon. I'll be doing it from Hutton and to Winscombe when I do it. Yeah, it needs to be done soon. The real walking weather. I walk all year round. You've got the light evenings for the summer though, it's not just about less rain or it's, it's hotter. A couple weeks ago I was walking down through there um, and I'll be ending up in Robur Warren later. That's the aim today, to get back into the Warren. Very close to a very beautiful track that I've recently explored for myself and uh, I'll be hope I'll be touching it there's another truck I want to do which I think I've done from the opposite direction before now that's all to come folks back there I can see Bamwell Wood 
Chapman Tower Hill. Um, I recognise all these. I've walked all these hills, by the way. All the way up to Bristol. All the way over to Devon on Quantocks and Exmoor before now. I've, I've weaved in and out most of them now. I've done a lot since I retired. I have to do a bit of cycling. I, I went out once on the bike and got a puncture, so it put me off for a bit. But I put a brand new in a tube in. I'm going to try again. As soon as the wind drops, I do not like wind. Right, I'm going to turn off now and take some photos, folks. This is Roborrow Hill Fort. I'll just do another gentle sweep round. And I'll be climbing, going along the ramparts here and up onto the top. Down the other side. And then I'll be getting in that wood again. Plan A. Plan A. I've seen a Isn't whole it? herd of cows that's just the tail end now running happily across the field. This is what they do when they're first let out. They're frisky, they're happy. Um, I've just seen that's two lots of cows now in different fields that I've seen really happy. I just turned the video on a bit more, remembering this is a still camera, but I'm walking with it. This is, um, the <clears throat> there would have been a palisade of wooden fencing along here on top of the ramparts many moons ago. This would have been higher the wall as well. I expect some of the wall was stolen for masonry reasons um, but it's still very defined this hill fort it's still very defined I love coming over here actually I would like to be brave and come over in the winter when it's snow up here I would like to do that but we don't get snow anymore now when I was a kid and growing up we had snow every year Every year. You just don't get it now. You just don't get it. You get a flurry. Occasionally you will get some that lasts about a week. And that's not persistent snowing. What it is, we're not very good at getting rid of it once it lands. Look at these lovely trees there, folks. And just imagine all the huts down here and the fires, everyone being sheltered. I'm not going to go to the uh, a scalloped out terrace area where I go where the secret steps so I'm not doing that today. That'll be kept for another time. But this is all Dolbury Warren here, Roebarrow Warren further over, and people who follow me will ne might know now because I've done so many videos. But some people might think, oh, not another Roebarrow, and they won't watch it. But what you've got to remember, this is a different camera, this is a different time. We've got Russia um, at war with, well they started it, invading the Ukraine. That's going on. There's lots of brutality, thousands and thousands have died due to the military bombing. It's a terrible thing. And uh, that's going on. It's the Queen's 90th Jubilee year. Um, I've got, I only watched half of it. She had some sort of display at um, Windsor Castle in the grounds the other night. I only managed to watch about a third of it because I've been watching other programmes that I want. But I will do it on catch up. Uh, that's if they do that, if they allow that. Sometimes they make you buy the video. So, you know. She's got more celebrations with pop stars. Um, Anita Franklin, I think. Um, the new boy who came second in the Eurovision Song Class, Sandy somebody or other. Um, Ukraine came first in that this year. Um, they needed the support anyway, really, to be quite honest. We haven't gone so high up the charts for years. I mean, Cliff Richard did it once, I think Sandy Shaw, maybe Lulu, but we, have, we haven't done it for a long time. 
So basically, folks, we've got the Jubilee. Mainly a lot of it going on in June with street parties and fates. I don't know what Western are doing. We're very slow at letting people know what's going on. I, don't, I really don't know. But if you're in a little village, you'll know. There's a little church there, St. Mary and, or St. Michael and All Angels, I think that's called, at Rowbarrow. As I say, every single time I've never been in it. It's part of a manor house. I probably could ask. Yeah, like I say, if I can get this done before any rain, I'll be inside the wood very soon. Yeah, I'm glad I've got a jumper, I'm glad I've got trousers on, it's not shorts weather. No, and that you do need a decent coat, a decent summer coat. I've even brought a scarf and gloves, just in case. I didn't bring any waterproof, so I didn't bring the umbrella, didn't bring the waterproof trousers. I've got a cover for the rucksack and I've got a spare carrier bag inside to put everything like the cameras and equipment in if it does rain look at this gorgeous old tree everyone isn't it beautiful hello tree hello let's go right in to see you look at your lovely leaves busy doing oxygen you've been here a while haven't you you've been here a while i'm going to turn off now take a picture